All right, let's play as a robot. I like playing as a rob. I like playing as a robot, so I don't mind. I don't mind the occasional, hey, play as a robot. I'll do it. I'll do it for you, chat. No modifiers, no cursed mode. I wanna be able to maybe get another big boy and take it. Although, I guess big boy won't spawn on this run necessarily. Because of the whole item memory thing, which I still think does exist in the game. I should probably install Mod the Gungeon and test it again at some point. <laughs> You're digging the, the Schrodingus emote? Well, I'm glad. Chris will definitely appreciate that, because it's his favorite. Because it's it's his it's his baby. <laughs> Hello, DJ Scratch, how's it going? We're just playing some gungeon. Okay, well, water barrel's destroyed. Doesn't matter though, we're the robot. We have Guaranteed access to the oubliette. Hey. Should probably destroy it now. And with one key, we have the best junk chance. And I definitely want junk as the robot. That small damage upgrade, you know, it, it stacks. It's nice. Maybe if I only take junk on this run, I can get a sling and one-shot the boss, I don't know. I would love to break the, the damage cap on bosses at some point in this game. All right. <laughs> I know I could have destroyed it. Frankly, I'm glad I didn't. This is going to be a remarkably good run, I think. At least from a room clearing perspective anyways. Look at this, look at this. I don't want to do a starting gun only run just because I want synergies. I want stuff like this to happen in my runs. Freaking random brown chest unlocked on the first floor as the robot gives us the water gun. It's freaking awesome, man. We don't need coolant anymore, that's for damn certain. Then we get a green chest, it gives us napalm strike, which we don't want. Although it does give us a synergy with something. Napalm B. Oh, oh, we're not immune to the fire. We're not immune to the fire. You know what? I'm gonna stick with the coolant. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I, I shouldn't because we don't need it. That being said, this scares the shit out of me that we could light ourselves on fire. Ah. Do I stream Isaac? I do not. I could at some point if people want to see Isaac. You know, I'll stream what people want to see. But I, ha I actually haven't played Isaac in like a year. I've been playing Gungeon. Gungeon is my Isaac. People have said it. I am the NL of, of Gungeon. This is the game that I play thousands of hours of, and I just, I keep playing it. I'm silly. I play too much. With Napalm Strike, I could bring hell to bullet hell. I just, I worry about lighting myself on fire and taking damage unnecessarily, especially if it's not the Napalm flames that are spread, it's just that the water itself becomes a conductor of fire. Because then if I kill, you know, a exploding grenade bullet, it could light all of the water on fire. And if I do a 360 spin at the beginning of a room, that could be very dangerous for me. So I just want to play it safe, I, I think. If I had fire immunity, absolutely. But the fact that I don't get fire immunity from the synergy makes me kind of think, eh, it's probably not that good. Nuclear Throne is your gungeon. Nuclear Throne is a great game. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> the hand. It, does, it doesn't even hurt you, but I still saw it and I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Too much Gungeon doesn't exist, might as well do a 13 hour grind stream. <laughs> Too late, I've already done it. How come that explosive barrel didn't get destroyed? That's weird. This is a great, great combination. And if we get Trigger Twins, mmm, fuck you twins. Get electrocuted, you sons of bitches. A little bit of lag right there. Nothing to be concerned about.
Oh, you jerks. Do not stand a freaking chance in hell. Oh, it's gonna feel so good to murder you with electricity. Why do I not have a cup for bits? Um, I mean, honestly, I don't like having too many things on the screen when I'm streaming. Like, I don't have the chat window here on the side. I don't have, like, a cup for bits. Just because I... I kind of feel like some of that stuff is a little bit... cheesy. You know, I want to I wanna try to have a little bit of a classy stream. I don't know, it's just, it doesn't fit with me as a, as a, as a streamer, I think. And also, you know, I, I don't want to have too much distractions, especially for people on YouTube who maybe want to watch the Gungeon and not want to watch the stream, you know? Like, I've been putting these, these episodes up on YouTube, and, I mean, I think the reaction so far has been pretty, pretty positive. But I don't want to add too much noise to the video, you know? Yeah, if YouTube hate, kind of hates that sort of stuff, then I don't want to add to it. And honestly, I kind of hate that stuff when I'm watching videos on YouTube. If, if someone puts their stream video up on YouTube and it's just filled with noise, I'll be turned off by that. I probably won't continue to watch it. <laughs> Like, occasional talking to the chat, that's fine. That kind of helps to foster some conversation sometimes, but... But I don't like a lot of that noise. You know, I, I would probably put, like, a chat window up. I could see that being something that I could do, because it would add context to things that I talk about. Oh, oh, you motherfuckers! I swear to you, they've changed the safe zone around where you you walk into a room because more and more often I'm seeing enemies like two feet away from me when I spawn in. Also, the damn explosive barrels when you walk into a room piss me off. <laughs> Half the time when I take, okay, that's just a bad dodge. Half the time when I take damage in a stupid situation like that, I gotta think to myself, what's if I, would I have gotten hit if it wasn't for the explosive barrel? Would I have been more comfortable in my dodging? Would I have not had to dodge roll? Would I not have exploded? I hate him. I hate him so much. Quality of life, man. No instant damage when you walk into a room. What's what's absolutely the worst is when you get that on the second floor and it costs you your uh, your old crest. <laughs> I've had that happen before. I've had that before when Wingman, when I walked into a room, it was DD20, Wingman fired, hit an explosive barrel that I was standing next to, and it popped and destroyed my armor before I could even react. It happened within four frames. Was so annoyed by that. <laughs> Guess I could just not do a 360 spin with the Mega Dowser when I walk into a room. I could wait a second. Adding chat to the screen, that's not classy at all. I mean, the thing is, it's ignorable, you know? Especially if it's small, if it's off to the side. But loud sound effects, it's hard to ignore that. Maybe someone's watching this late at night, maybe they're trying to relax. When Aki is here, context doesn't matter. <laughs> Stone. Would have preferred armor straight up. Straight up. Let's avoid taking any more damage, because this is a great run if I can do that. Yeah, that's kind of another reason why I don't necessarily want to add chat to the uh, the window. Because, I mean, first of all, for people on Twitch who are watching, they already have the chat open. Why do they need to see it twice? And also, sometimes maybe I don't want something being on 
the stream. Maybe I want to ignore something that was just said in chat. I can't do that if it's uh, on the damn screen. Or at least I I can ignore it, but other people maybe are uh, maybe drawn to it a little bit more. There's reasons. Nope, yo, God, how did I not get hit there? That was like the worst dodge. I guess it boils down to as long as I'm still doing these Twitch streams and uploading them to YouTube, I'll probably just, just leave it as is. But if I ever do streaming just for Twitch, then I might end up, you know, adding more visual effects and stuff. Overlays and all that good stuff. TLDR, it's complicated. Anyways, I'm loving this run so far. I really enjoy the the good robot runs that you can get when you have a... Uh... Already found the secret room. When you have a Mega Dowser, because you can do it a lot of damage. Room clearing becomes much easier. Uh, I probably don't want to use this forever, because eventually it will be a little bit distracting for me. I won't be able to see what's going on as easily, but... At least for the time being. You know what? Hold up. Get punched. Oh. Oh. Now I have like a supercharge? Oh my god. Yes. 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 Really? That's S tier? I thought that this was uh... I lost the charge? I lost the three stars by switching guns? Are you kidding me? I thought Patriot was A tier. Even if it's just for the stream, there's sometimes when those extra features are just bad. It says altered bees. Yeah, that too. The boxing glove sucks. I agree. I really don't like the the glove. I think it is pretty awful. It's good for finding secret rooms. It finds them in one punch. It's got that going for it, I guess. Insert meme here. Hammer is actually doing a good amount of damage here. You know what? We'll need to walk around you at some point. Ah, oh, thank you. Should probably use the Patriot here instead of the hammer, right? Hammer is more of a weapon that can be used as room clearing than the Patriot. One Punch! Dude, if you haven't seen One Punch Man, you should. One Punch! Do we have an extra key? I can buy a key. 65 credits. Uh, you know what I should do? I should sell stuff. Sell stuff that we don't want, and that way we can definitely afford the key now. Let's so all sell the One Punch. One Punch! We'll buy a key. We'll get the old crest, destroy a couple of chests, get some more junk. Uh, well, let's let's do this first. Excellent. Pretty sure with one key, you have the best chance of getting junk. So as, as a robot, that's ideal. Okay, we're done. When is season two of One Punch Man coming? I don't know. It's pretty much the only anime I've ever watched, but it's it's such a fun show that it doesn't even feel like an anime. It feels like, it just feels like a weird TV show. I like weird. Please no. Hate these spike traps. Oh, okay, hold up. Keep flipping tables, you're invincible during the table flip. That's scary. That's quite scary. 
And I, I've like activated a lot of slow mo, I think. <laughs> 2019. Oh, that's so it's a million years away. It's no fun. Brux Delight must leave. Well, sorry to see you go, but I'm. How does that phrase go? I'm sorry to. Sorry you have to leave, but I'm glad to see you go. Can't remember. But I'm sorry to see you go. <laughs> Is the key. We got enough money for the key. And there is a BD. Man, Mega Dows are so nice. It really is. It's good to have for later, too, because eventually we will want to uh, deal with maybe the High Priest and the Dragon Attack, so we can do that with the with the Water Gun here. It might be one of the best guns to use for that purpose, because you won't have to worry about hurting yourself with fire or poison. Don't do that. I hate when you don't appear on the map, you son of a gun. This looks like a very difficult one. I don't I don't think I've seen that layout before on a, uh, a gun game, man. Unfortunately, I can't do it right now. I do need to save money for the, uh, the Nod Key. But if we can get a little bit more money, I will definitely play his game. I'd also like to make sure we can get this old crest deposited. And it's gonna be down here by the next chest. It's a shame that we have to go the entire damn floor to actually get to it, but whatever. You take, you take electrical damage while you're under the ground. Cause you can't actually hit him with bullets while he's under the ground. So I'm kind of surprised that he can actually be electrocuted. It's very interesting. <gasps> Duck tape, no! Of course it's gotta be on a run where I need to like get the nod key that I get frickin' duct tape. I hate this game sometimes. <laughs> Why you do this for? Maybe I'll get lucky and get some more key drops. All right, let's fight the boss. Who is it? Ammo freaking Conda, let's go. Oh, oh, you ran into me! You're faster than the character? Boo, boo game, boo. Get out of here, you Amaconda bastard. You freaking ran into me, what a jerk. Ugh. So Gunther is worthless and Mega Dowser is nice, pretty much. <laughs> I hate that. I can buy another key though, so I can open the uh, the green chest. We might as well. Hazmat suit. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad. No items of steel. Yeah. Well, what you gonna do? That's Gungeon for you. That's Gungeon in a nutshell. Don't have enough money for the gun game. I could have played gun game. But I would have only had a maximum A tier payout, so I figured why not just buy the key anyways, not even worry about Mr. Gun Game. It's a shame though that we uh, did take damage on that boss fight. But the ammo kinda walked into me! I even blanked its bullets and I'm like, let me get away from you. And he's like, no, I'm gonna touch you. I'm gonna lick you. I'm slippery like a snake. It's weird because I know that in um, in pre-AG&D, when the developers were talking about how they were going to make some updates to the game, 
and they were saying how they were gonna make shops more viable or something to that effect. I just never under I realized that by making shops more viable, what they really meant was we're gonna make it so that you need to have 100 credits saved up in order to do the entire run. It's just so awkward that you have to save so much money. I want the freaking duct tape. I wanna buy stuff. I hate that the key is so expensive. At least I'm able to afford it on this run and I'm not six credits shy due to nothing but RNG. Well, and me buying a second key on the first floor, but I don't know, this game sometimes. Sometimes, man, sometimes. I'm gonna lick you. <laughs> okay, now that's an out of context quote, if I've ever seen one. Get out of here, get out of here, you damn dirty chance be Lin. Should be using other weapons. Like, let's use the Jolter now that I have the, uh, the mail gun. Yeah, yeah, already a big fan of this. Jolter normally has a pretty, pretty uh, widespread But thanks to battery bullets, it's actually pretty manageable on the robot. Oh, shit. Can't forget about the uh, triple shot either. Amulet of the Pit Lord. So weird, because it's actually good now. If you can get it, it makes your Guan Stones better. We have to have Guan Stones to take advantage of it, obviously, but... Could still be good for us to pick up at some point if we can get enough money. And I'm probably just gonna save for the keys. Extra Blanks are gonna go to the Blank Shrine, but we're on a floor in which we don't have extra Blanks. We have to spend them on secret rooms. At least we have the the old key, nod key rather. We know we're gonna be making it to the rat floor, so I'm just gonna kinda just use ammo and other weapons for a little while. What do I think of Dead Cells? It's a fun game. It's very fun. I wish that it had maybe a few more levels. But I guess maybe it's just because I've played a lot of it in early access so I'm I'm I kind of I'm already familiar with most of the levels already you know is there a blank in the shop to try my luck at the shrine there could be I'll probably buy the blanks before I fight the boss anyways right if you stand still he can't actually hit you if you're far enough away that is Trying to find the damn secret rooms. There's one. There's a lot of blanks. Uh, I could buy a key though and open chests. I'll buy the key and open a chest. Flame hand. Flame hand is not bad. So we'll destroy this chest. We'll save our key for the uh, the trap door on the next floor. I'll pop my blank, and it is Brother Alburn. So we'll see what he has for us. Bouncy bullets. That's not bad. With Mega Dowser, the shots will bounce off of the walls, and with like the Patriot, the shots will bounce, and the Patriot shots also pierce. So it's actually a pretty good, pretty good little synergy here. I'm gonna be using the Patriot here, definitely. With no blanks, I'm gonna kill this guy as fast as possible, of course. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, there's no reason to be using the Mega Dowser, though. It's just, it's making it harder for me to see. That's bad damage. Let's just hope that we don't die here. That's the only thing I can hope for. I don't really have a lot of HP. I sh 
Fucking Christ. I should have saved some blanks for this guy. Though I'm think I'm realizing. He's a difficult boss. I don't give him enough credit. Shit. Uh, hammer, hammer, hammer. Thank you for doing that attack. I need to stop running sometimes and just let bullets hit walls. All right, I think we're I think we're fine now. Ah, took way, way, way too much damage here on this floor. That's okay. We get a little bit of HP back. We get the Rattler, which is actually fantastic. Don't know where the other secret room is. And yeah, I definitely could buy a blank and try my luck on the uh, on the blank shrine. We have enough money for it. kind of hoping that we could get some some junk out of it that's all right uh, so we have six HP we plan on fighting the rat I don't know this this run could go either way I think flame hands gonna be room clear because it pierces Yeah, this run could go either way. Hopefully I can get some extra HP. Before we have to go fight the rat, of course. Just gotta play it, play it slow, play it safe. Use bouncy bullets. Bouncy bullets with piercing shot weapons is fantastic. AG&D is a lot more difficult than Enter the Gungeon was, though. Playing with the robot is pretty sketchy sometimes, I'm realizing. Then again, I did go down and fight the old king and took a lot of damage on the floor. That's my bad there. <laughs> um, okay, just one shot. Not... A mimic. Should probably stand a little bit further away from the chest when I shoot it, but that's okay. Oh! Scary. You're on fire? You're on fire. Looking for the rat room. Oh god, you son of a. I thought you were red. You were purple. I should definitely be flipping tables with the uh, flame hand bouncing bullets. That's a good combination. Just need there to be more tables, please. <laughs> Yo, give me some HP, please. And I don't mean red hearts, obviously. There's a trap door. We're probably not gonna get Little Bomber, but I might as well wait on the blanks until after we've done ex exploring the floor. I do wanna find the shop, the chests. Maybe I can get lucky and open a couple of them. Let's see if there's something really good on the shop. No, just the... Just the, uh, the weird ring. Ruby bracelet. Thrown weapons explode. Which I don't want. It's a boss fight. Treadnought would be ideal. Cannon Balrog would probably be not ideal. Also, this guy, keep forgetting. Why am I not lighting on fire? Excuse me. I have hazmat suit! I don't need to worry about fire, you idiot! 
How long, for how long have I been like, oh, don't light yourself on fire, don't hit, step in the poison. Don't need to worry about that at all. I have one key, I can buy another. I think there's another key in the shop anyways. Not a mimic. No extra blanks. No blanks in the shop either. Okay, let's open the two chests. They're both green, we'll see what we get. Hopefully some good stuff. Crutch. Not bad as the robot. Our tight spread means that hopefully we'll be able to hit with a lot of shots, especially from a weapon like the Rattler. Heroin is awesome. It's a good room clearer. Uh, am I gonna fight the boss? Yeah. Yeah, I'll fight the boss. I will use my blanks first, so I don't accidentally use them on the boss fight. I could have maybe saved one blank, and if it saved me the flawless, then we could have still had net even HP by using my armor on the, the first secret wall, but this is fine. This is fine too. I'll probably, I'll probably just use the Rattler here, honestly. Okay, it is the Treadnought. It is what I wanted. Uh, might even just use the heroin, actually. Damage output might be better. I hate this. I hate this. Get away from me. I need the treadnought to come all the way to the bottom of the screen. That's what I want. This is basically just like positional management, this fight. Can you keep the Treadnought in a position where you want him to be? I think, I think we're glad that we did this fight. Oh God, kill him. No, I didn't shoot a charge shot with the heroin. Oh God damn it. We took one damage. Oh. We got our HP back though. So at least it's a net even and we picked up the stinger. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I wanted to try to kill him really quickly before he got me, so I fired off a shot before it was fully charged and it didn't kill him. A one charge shot would have done it. Would have done it. That's okay. Six HP fighting the rat. I'm a little scared. I can't buy anything with this amount of this amount of uh, of money. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna gun munch the Patriot. It's it's not a very good S tier gun. We have the heroin, flame hand, rattler, stinger. We have a lot of good weapons. I want to re-roll it. I want to re-roll it and see what else we can get. And I will re-roll it with the uh, the Jolter. S tier plus B tier. Black and green. We get Gilded Hydra. It's another S tier gun, so I lost no real quality from that, but I would have still probably preferred something a little bit better. We can gun munch it again in the future, though, if we, if we really want to. Okay. Not a bad floor. I mean, we didn't take a lot of unnecessary damage. We took a little bit of damage, that's okay. A little low on HP. As long as I use my blanks on the rat fight appropriately, we should be fine though. Okay, flame hand, carry me. Also, tables, carry me. There's often a lot of tables in these rooms, so I can use this to my advantage. There we go, excellent. Down left, up left. What? Oh God. 
telling me I got hit by that? Also, break that, please. Yeah, I mean, it's not a... Gilded Hydra is not a very good S-tier gun, especially not for the robot. But... It's okay. Thank you! Get the hell away from me. Son of a bitch. These guys are not getting uh, lit on fire, though. Maybe something like the Rattler would be a little bit better. Oh, no, don't get stuck in the corner. Also, you're immune to fire, you idiot. You're immune to fire, you're immune to fire. I keep thinking I'm not immune to the fire. That's dumb. Look for another table. Look for another table. Good stuff. Okay, we're at the rat fight. Let's get out of here. We'll take ammo for the heroin and probably hammer. What do we use in the boss fight? Maybe even just the heroin. Maybe the stinger. Maybe we'll alternate between the two. Launch a stinger, switch to the heroin, get some charge shots in. Rat traps. I have the hazmat. Please, yes. Get out of here, you damn dirty rat. The next phase, I might want the rattler. It's a little bit more mindless. I don't have to worry about the charging as much. If the enemies spawn, we can use the. Uh, Mega Dowser. Okay. I know what's gonna happen. It's just, it just looks weird. I guess if I poison the boss, I poison his components as well, which is really weird. I guess it's good. Normally you can't often poison bosses. Okay, there's a bullet right in front of me. Missiles, I think we're just gonna wanna blank these. Yeah, this is when we use Mega Dowser. Oh god, that looks horrifying. Don't do that again. Ah, it's not ready to fire. I thought the stinger was ready, but it wasn't. Not a bad fight so far. Had a couple close calls, but we're making it work. Rattler's getting the job done. Another one of these missiles. Another one of these. Wait for the damn bullets to go away, nice. Freaking job. Be careful with goop-based guns and bouncy bullets. The thing is, is that I have hazmat suit. I just keep forgetting that I have the hazmat suit. So yeah, like poise, uh, a poison weapon or something could cause you problems, but I just gotta keep remembering. I've got it covered. Can't look now. Give me a taunt. I'll wait. That guy that people know. 
Thank you for the 10 bits. Oof. A little too early on my attack, so I mistimed it. Didn't get the counter, but I did stun him. One more. Thank you for going easy on me and actually punching me now. Come on! Come on! <sighs> 20 seconds left. I can get three charges in 20 seconds. Oh, he got me! He got me! That hasn't happened in a while. I kept, I kept mistiming the, uh, that lunge attack. I did it three times. Bad timing on my part, I guess. It doesn't matter. We got Sir Junkin! I didn't see it! Did anyone see that? I didn't even notice that we got a Sir Junkin pay out there. Dude! Welcome to the team! Hell yeah! They can bounce infinitely. Uh, that is true. I think I've seen that a couple of times. But I think normally they, they do stop bouncing eventually. Just gotta keep not hold down the trigger forever. Sir Junkin is reborn! Also, I only have one extra key, which is a shame, because I didn't actually kill the rat, but whatever. We are good. Yeah, the rat gives you, or the uh, robot has the blue screen of death. It's in the top left corner of the, uh, of the screen, it does that. Dude. Hello, hello, Sir Junkin. Hello. My baby. Hello, my ragtime. Yeah. Honestly, though, I think we got the probably the best payout from the rat chest. I think this is probably the best. Second best would be the boots. So that is good. But I am going to be destroying a lot of chests now. I want to get Sir Junkin leveled up. Yes, it would have been nice if we had him on the last run when we had the gold junk, but I guess you can't get everything you want. Ah. You got him, Sir Junkin? You got him, Sir Junkin? You know, if I'm gonna be flipping tables, I actually want something that synergizes with it. I'm gonna take the flame hand for a little while. Yeah, the heroine's probably better, but it also doesn't work with table deck sight, unfortunately. Well, it works, it just is broken. You did it in a chest room and your game got effed using bouncing bullets plus a, uh, a goop gun. Well, I'll try to be, try to be careful. Not immune to contact damage. Don't let these guys hit me. Chest. We know what's. We know what that is. Oh, he's got a plume. He's getting there. My boy. Can I get like another gold junk? Oh, you fucking teleporting bullet, god bullshit. I don't think there's a way to. 
The potato is shades, thank you for the two bits. I don't think there's a way to like make it more likely to appear, but I certainly hope so. Okay, well, I mean, this is real good. Bracket key. I don't really want the bracket key. Siron, thank you for the follow. I don't really want the bracket key. I wish I could go to the shop and see if there was a, uh, a cell creep in the shop. Hold up. Hey. Get off of that. I might try to just like keep these two items with me for the time being. Using not but this club. I will do it because I'll t spoilers. You gave me some sort of a passive. Unity. Unity is actually pretty good. I, I kind of want to try and find the shop. Because if I can find the shop, sell the bracket key, maybe, I can get some extra money out of it. Jandman90. Thank you for the follow. I am going to go to the secret market, but I want to wait until after I find the shop, because if I go to the secret market, I have to teleport back immediately. But there's no teleporter in the secret market, so the item that I drop is probably going to get stolen by the rat. And I want to try to min-max this a little bit and get some stuff maybe sold to the rat. Might be a little subpar, but I want to see if I can get this stuff sold. That's the boss fight. That's probably not going to be the shop. This is probably going to be the shop, I imagine. So let's head down here. Get off. Yep, there's the shop. So now that I've seen the shop, we know we're one room away from accomplishing my goal. My goal of get as much money as I can from selling this garbage that I don't want. I'm such a min-max nerd. <laughs> You're not wrong. It's just, it's worth a lot of money, man. Also, there's no cell creep here, man. At least I did my due diligence. All right, now I'll I'll go to the uh, the Blacko Market and see what we get. I don't have enough money. I dropped the cursed item that I got. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> we, <laughs> Look, it's been a while. Okay, I forgot how that worked. Oh God, I'm an idiot sometimes. That's okay. We'll we'll get some money. Then we'll go to the shop, the super secret shop. We'll see what's inside. Oh, good lord. We'll keep getting Sir Junkin leveled up. He's almost to his white knight phase. We only need like one more piece of junk for that. Nice job, SJ. I'll stick for this. God, this is silly. You think I would remember how this damn game works? 88, 89. We need to get 100 credits before we can walk into that place. This is why I hate this room, because it's random blobs. It's not the same blobs time again. You got him? You got him. Oh, you got him. Let me help out. 94, 100, we got it. So there's White Knight Sir Junkin, he will blank for us now. Ooh, DJ Squid, thank you for the follow. No, Squig, not Squid. There we go, we got enough money. Uh, six chamber, that's real good. A key 47, good, and we can actually buy it. With a key, where's the key? There's the key. 
I can't, I can't teleport back. Okay. That's weird. Was I could do my game broke? Uh, Ring of Mimic Friendship, Vorpal Gun, A key 47. I mean, if I get six chamber, Vorpal Gun might be okay. Ah, uh, this gun game, hmm. Anything that lets me fly? No. Chaos Amulet, which is 57. This is 29. Probably get the A key, and maybe Potion of Blood. Ah, oh, we don't need the Potion of Blood skin. We can't hold more than one active item. And we don't need the sponge, because we have hazmat suit. So we'll step right up. For 19 credits, I will give it a shot. Worst case scenario, hopefully we get a, uh, a red chest, even if we can't get a black chest. Hold up. Got it! <laughs> Hold up, we have one item that grants me the ability of flight. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> Composite gun, oh man, that is so good. Composite gun doesn't synergize with the Chaos Amulet, I have to know. Holy Grail plus the sixth chamber is a pretty good pickup. Um, I might just want sixth chamber, I don't think I'll have enough money to afford both. Uh, but we should definitely get the A key. We have the keys for it. I should be able to get five cents. Oh, there's another shop! There's another curse shop! Okay! <sighs> Come on, Stone. Not worth it. Not worth it. Um, guess we'll fight the boss. I should be able to get five credits from the boss fight. This is gonna be Wallmonger. And against Wallmonger, I suppose we want Composite Gun. We can just keep keep hitting the wall over and over again. Does this sh They bounce, they bounce. I get it now. Because I was thinking to myself, why are the shots not blanking? They're not blanking because they're bouncing. It's a little awkward, but you know what? Whatever works. Thank you. <laughs> on, a, on a smaller boss arena, it would be better. <laughs> sure, I'll take stout bullets. Doesn't this make my guns really big if I throw an empty weapon? Is there a gun muncher? No, no cell creep either. I, I do have enough money. I can buy six chamber. Holy... I can get Holy Grail too. We have plenty of curse available, so let's take it. It's kind of unnecessary because we already blank when we take damage, but it's... It'll keep our ammo up. It's not that bad of a purchase. I still haven't even used, like, the glacier. What are we gonna use for room clearing? Stinger? Stinger, uh... Rattler? Oh, that was a weird sound. I like the stout bullets triple shot we've got going on here so far. Yeah, come on, come on closer! I need to blow up one more chest too, I need to get Sir Junkin into his, uh... last phase. That's a big missile! Did composite work with the amulet? I believe it did! I think I did hear some, uh... Some poison ticks happening against the boss or something like that. Um, but we'll know a little bit more next time I get an opportunity to use it. Which I guess could be literally at any moment, so let's, let's test it out here. You mother effer! I mean, he's on fire, but I don't know if that's because of Sir Junkin or something. 
I should have checked the map. <laughs> There's no reason not to check the map for this. I think it I think it does work. Yeah, it, it, it does work. Composite gun synergy does work. That's good to know. Alpha bullets. Oh, we have to get alpha bullets. Hopefully we can afford it. There are gonna be jammed enemies and hopefully they'll drop enough money. That would be an amazing purchase. Oh, thought I had flame hand. Ammo, 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 ammo. Composite gun. I was thinking, what was that, what was that gun I need to ammo for? Composite gun, man. Oh yeah, I got the map from the mini boss. <laughs> for some reason I thought I had unit, oh I do have unity. Unity is not the one that gives you the map, that's the other one. They look the same. So yeah, <laughs> I was wrong for the wrong reason. Go, 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 go. I know what room this is. Longer with the teleporter, it's the one where you fight the enemies. No! I have to do two rooms? You piece of garbage. Very rarely will it send you back in time to two rooms, but it does happen. Now I have to do it slightly harder. Oh no, this room is completed. Weird. Dude, Sir Junkin, you are the fucking best. Honestly, I don't even want another piece of junk because if I give him another piece of junk, he's not gonna be blanking anymore. I kind of want him to blank. What do you think? Should I get another piece of junk or should I leave him in his current form? Because the fact that he's blanking and freezing enemies is wonderful. Yeah, the cooldown on the cheese is pretty sick, but that's just because it's an OP item. And it has basically no cooldown, which I love. It is pretty much broken. We done? We done. Dude, I kind of, kind of, kind of just want to like open the chest. We get a science cannon, sure, why not? Keep junking in his white knight phase. Keep him blanking. Yeah, that's it. Six chamber. Thank you. I completely forgot about that. I should have, I should have realized because that's a great reason to get six chamber. Is you got a good active item you want it to charge much more quickly. You got him. I want to be ready for this guy. Boom! It would be annoying if the hands teleported you to the beginning of the level. It wouldn't be that bad as long as you kept your progress. But yeah, I understand that. That would make it a little bit annoying. Well, I actually, I can't even break the chest because it's a mimic. Daruma, no thank you. Cheese wheel is probably good enough. It's fast recharge is nice. Two ammo drops, huh? All right, well. <laughs> the choice has been taken from us. This is our Sir Junkin. Why are my missiles n not friendly? Oh! I know why they're not friendly. The mage took him. The mage grabbed him out of the air and sent him back with the greatest of care. Damn it. We have Rubidine Mark One. No Mark Two though, but not enough money for Alpha Bullets either. That's un unfortunate. 
Chaos Amulet Daruma would be good, but if I leave Sir Junkin in his current phase, that's pretty much the same. The enemies are dying quickly enough anyways, you know? Uh, what are we gonna use? Maybe Gilded Hydra first phase, we'll use the Composite Gun second phase. Maybe Gilded Hydra Rattler. You know, I can fire one Gilded Hydra shot, then go to the Rattler and wait for the Gilded Hydra to automatically reload. It'll take a little while, but it gives me some use out of that gun. Which I would otherwise not get. Eh, we're taking care of the boss pretty quickly here. That was almost a bad dodge. You can't stun or freeze the boss, so I figure... Thank you. We might as well... Uh... Something. I mean, we might as well keep him in his, in his White Knight phase. Although, I w probably would have taken the other junk, at least for this phase. Glacier, Glacier, because of the um, the explosion nerf in AG and D, Glacier is actually a room clearer now. It's an okay boss killer because of the slowdown, but it's a bet, it's a good room clearer too. Just kind of weird, but that's just that's just what it what it is. Uh, is this composite gun is what I wanted. Weird blanking because they bounce, but it still does a good amount of damage, and it will keep me safe. Just like random blanks going off, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I like them for this though. Yeah, blank the hell out of these, please. Okay, we're out of ammo, let's go back to the Rattler and the Gilded Hydra, I suppose. Oh, blank them all, blank them up. Hold up, hold up. I have plenty of blanks. Let's let's pop a blank. I have blanks, you damn hoarder. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I just I didn't need to use them. I had Sir Junkin blanking for me. I had composite gun, which I wanted to use on this fight. There we go. Wow. Also, I had I, I picked up literally zero money. Well, no, I picked up 10 credits, okay. Not enough for alpha bullets, unfortunately. Uh, in which case, I might want to get Rubidine prototype in case I can get Rubidine Mark II somehow. Maybe there'll be a random chest. Maybe I can put guns into a gun muncher if I find one. I do want to eventually get Rubidine, uh, Rubidine's monster. Either way though, good fight. We were quite well prepared for that with the 50% recharge on the cheese wheel thanks to our high amount of coolness. Sir Junkin blanking for us, a large amount of blanks myself, a good active item for that matter, and composite gun which was just automatically blanking too. Cannot complain. Yeah, Glacier is still good for um, for boss fights, but for the slowdown, not for the explosions. But because of the explosions, it actually does make a pretty good room clear, too. You can freeze multiple enemies with one shot, and it does a ton of damage. 
So I might just try to use the glacier for a little bit here. Uh, you know what? The more things change, the more they stay the same. Keep getting the cheese wheel by fighting the rat. There's just a few particular rooms that I want to use it on above all else. You know, I don't think I would use another junk, not until the lich fight anyways, because for the room clearing, for stunning enemies, for breaking bullets, for freezing them, it's just too damn useful to have Sir Junkin at his current phase. He is a GD monster. Take ammo for the composite gun, of course. Like that. Stuns all of the enemies, freezes some of them. So good. Sir Junkin, you madman. He's even preventing some enemies from spawning, but they can be electrocuted, but they don't have a hitbox, so I can't shoot them. Gungeon gets weird sometimes. Oh, lordy, Lou. Hello. Excuse me. I gotta find him. I gotta, I gotta find his friend now. His summoned head. Did I get him? I think I got him. His summoned head. <laughs> Who wouldn't want a summoned head? The incredible screw on head. thought of that in a long time. I don't know, Stinger RPG maybe? Let's give it a shot. That was pretty nice. Being able to e effectively uh, two-shot that guy. with a stinger and an RPG. A little wonky, but whatever works, right? Where are you? Stuff hazmat suit, keep forgetting about that. You know what? Could have waited for a uh, for mini junk in here to pop off a blank. I decided not to. It's a weird direction to bounce in. Uh, what do we want to use? What do we want to use? Maybe the AK forty-seven. It's gonna do a lot of damage, especially up close. That's pretty good damage. Even against jammed enemies, although I didn't kill that one jammed enemy here. Hey. I love the sound effect of triple shot missile launcher thanks to the uh, table tech site. It's just so deep and so satisfying. Oh, we get it again. Oh, it's like, I know what's coming. Do you know what's coming? Your death is coming. Thank you for the blank there, buddy. That, that just sounded like bees. <laughs> 
Here, have some bees. Meow. Good night, 96 eh? 96s. Still. I still make that mistake. Thank you for thank you for uh, stopping by and for watching. I mean, bees are awesome. But also, this sound is awesome. And hear the bees. Oh, there is an ammo drop. Coolness has made a lot of red hearts drop. That's in a couple of blanks. That's about it. All right, boss fight time. What do we want? Probably the hey, glacier can't even slow him down. Wish I knew where the uh, secret room was. Ring of Trigger plus Stinger would be awesome. Especially with the fast recharge on our active item. I don't know. RPG Stinger? I really just, I don't know what to use here. kind of a weird situation. I can't really get close to him either, so we are losing a little bit of damage from the, uh... from stout bullets. I can get up close right now and hit him. Eat him! Eat him! Ring of Stingers! <laughs> I like it. Now for this phase, I definitely want composite gun. I want the shots to bounce around, to auto blank. I don't want this guy to get a shot off. Ooh, maybe Ring of Trigger's composite gun? All of the shots bounce and they cause like a whole bunch of blanks to go off? Dude, that would be awesome. If I just stand in the middle, we'll get a lot of blanks, theoretically. Although the shots are like bouncing off at weird angles, which is kind of strange. It's a little hard to keep track of where I should be standing. <laughs> Yo, composite gun is really freaking good. <laughs> it got a lot better in AG and D. Why did they add it? Why did they make it blank? It seems like too good. It, did it really need a buff? It pierces anyway. Thank you for not letting me dodge. I don't think it needed a buff, but you know, whatever. Oh, you know what? I actually got my ammo back too. Forgot about that. Oh, you son of a bitch. Don't need to use my active item, he's dead. I don't think it needed a buff, but it's nice that it got one, I suppose. It already was a pretty damn good uh, boss killer. Although I suppose I never really used the charge form of composite gun because it had such bad accuracy. It seems like the accuracy is a lot tighter now in AG and D, but maybe that's just because I was playing as the robot and I have innate better accuracy with the battery bullets item. Either way, good run, it's a great run. I was a little bit low on HP there before the rat fight, but I... Fought the rat and didn't, didn't take any damage. We didn't kill the rat because we lost punch out, but whatever. It happens, sometimes your timing is just off and you really do need not frame perfect timing in order to get those vulnerability hits in on the, uh, on the rat, but it certainly is pretty damn close. Picked up the glacier. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the glacier now, because originally it was fantastic. 
in pre-AG and D. But now, now that the explosion nerf is here and explosives don't always break bullets, it's not as good of a gun. And yet it's two tiers higher in quality than it was previously. It went from C tier to A tier. So I don't really know what to think about the Glacier. I think it's a great room clearing gun still because it does freeze multiple enemies with the explosion. And it does still slow down bosses, but it is definitely a lot weaker than it was before. We picked up Sir Junkin! That's wonderful. No gold junk, unfortunately, on this run. I wish that we had Sir Junkin on the last run, but that's all right. And otherwise, just a fantastic run. Black Market, fought the rat, ton of good items. Missed a couple of the flawlesses, but what does it matter? We won. So for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.